आर एट ऑटो एक्सपो ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड आई एम एट साय एट वी एन ए एंड आई एम टॉकिंग टू योगेश क्वालिटी हेड एंड आई एम टॉकिंग टू देवाशीष द इंजीनियरिंग लीड एंड सचिन फ्रॉम बिजनेस डेवलपमेंट एंड सेल्स सो वी एट ज्ञानी की आर ट्राइंग टू ब्रिज द गैप ऑफ बिटवीन सप्लायर्स एंड ओ एम्स एंड वन ऑफ द क्रूशल कॉम्पोनेंट्स इन द ई वी स्पेस वुड बी द मोटर एंड मोटर ड्राइव एंड मोटर कंट्रोल यूनिट सो देवाशीष जस्ट गिव अस अ ब्रीफ इनसाइट अबाउट विच आर योर की प्रोडक्ट्स विच यूर टॉकिंग अबाउट आई हैव एट लीस्ट नोन दैट यू हैव बोथ द एक्सीएल फ्लक्स एंड रेडियल फ्लक्स फॉर द सेम अप्लीकेशन वाई डू हैव टू डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ डिजाइन्स so uh, like uh, you rightly said axial flux is our key technology so uh, that that's where our usp lies so advantage of using axial flux is with the same motor topology you'll get higher torque it's more torque density product as compared to a radial flux product but it is like the advantage is over uh, like a higher uh, power rating product so for example the aft 140i which is our flagship axial flux product it is giving a peak uh, power of up to 45 kilowatts and a peak torque of 135 newton meters for a 96 volt system so that's that's the flagship product which can which can probably used to a vehicle of up to uh, 200 2000 gvw to a uh, 2 tons gvw so that's our flagship product and rft we are uh, if with rft we are coming into the lower like slightly lower power category say up to 8.5 kilowatt of peak power category so that's where the rft has its own advantages uh, the the small packaging with the with the air cooled system so that's where uh, probably the two wheeler or small three wheeler passenger applications are more interested in so that's why we have rft also as a segment for us yeah so would it be uh, correct if i state that it's a modular concept that for the same vehicle design just for the weight cut from the gvw perspective you have uh, rft for lower uh, rating yeah. and then the aft for the higher rating yeah so it's a aft is more suitable for power applications of like more than probably 12 kilowatt of continuous power so that that's where uh, from that converts the usp of asp uh, a- aft is basically yeah and uh, as i explained the rft can be used for the lower side of applications right okay. yeah good then with the motors uh, is uh, the engineering development completely in house in india or do you have some west or east come uh, supporting you so uh, like I'll, i'll explain the sayata vna so sayata group plc is uk based uh, company and uh, vna come from comes from padmini vna which is a very well renowned uh, uh, tier one in india so that's the jv comes like sayata and vna sayata vna and uh, sayata group uh, uh, has developed this uh, this entire technology like aft motor with the integrated inverter and uh, uh, from there like with the jv we are now providing the solution to all the indian oems we'll be manufacturing it in india very soon will be production ready in in quarter 3 of this year we'll like we'll be uh, uh, supplying it to our oem uh, partners and then uh, like the, the, the sayata group in uk is there for the entire entire the r&d the the simulation the core technology uh, part of it Uh, Sachin, a question for you. With this joint venture with uh, Padmini VNA, we all know that it is well established in uh, the country, and bringing in intellectual minds uh, from UK was it a predefined path to say this would be the super combo for the Indian EV markets? So basically, uh, Padmini VNA is a uh, 32-year-old brand, so it's very popular in automotive industry. And the founder and managing director, Mr. Kabir Bhandari, he is a very uh, renowned name in automotive industry. So the purpose of this is. EV is just to uh, we were just targeting the EV the future is EV so that's why uh, our next target is to cover maximum on two wheeler and three wheeler market so which we are trying our best and uh, we are in touch with other OEMs, some OEMs uh, who are making uh, who are leader of two wheelers and three wheelers so in future definitely future is EV so uh, that's why we did this EV good so what are the production volumes which you are forecasting for this year and the next year. Uh, we are trying to do, uh, start this year plant is ready so we have established new plant in dhankot which is uh, in gurgaon only so very soon we will start the production we will update in future uh, what is the volume estimation at least the plant capacity uh, right now uh, we can't commit on that because it's a uh, top management level uh, 
decision yeah, yeah they so will there decide have been like oem programs running and so so that volume estimation has been done so we'll be uh, very good to cater two three oems together so we'll have that kind of volume capability ready in, in india very good soon. and uh, my question to uh, yogesh on the quality very um, since the production is yet to start generally quality people involved i'm very happy because they come at a very later point and then the complaints but i see a different uh, proposal approach over here yeah. quality being uh, included in the development stage itself do you think that's a very good move i feel it's a good move but what's your experience uh, yes your your question is perfectly right right so uh, this is a philosophy of this uh, saita vna group right so we are working on a proactive based solutions right not a reactive one that's why saita and this uh, vna they have the philosophy to introduce the quality in the very initial stage so that we can uh, produce a quality part from the start of the production start of the project so that's why this philosophy works here uh, exactly i support that and which do you think is the most challenging part or i know you might have your challenges but not everyone but not everything at least if you want to tell two challenges for you from quality perspective example motor winding or magnets no no i don't think so any challenges because th those challenges have been already taken care in the development stage so saita has done lot of uh, technology behind that to come up from that challenges but right. uh, there is one more thing one is engineering but then comes the production oh no, yes the one challenge is you can say because we are we are, have no experience with this electric uh, motors right now in india right so and now this technology is come up in india so not now in the running stage we will see what challenges comes that is a big challenge for us to because we can we can judge only but we don't have the practical experience right now so we are awaiting for that one so we are doing our best as a proactive approach and later on just just some challenges comes that we are very capable enough to face those challenges and fix those challenges okay my last question are you running already some proto testing because i know there is uh, technology transfer proto build is happened over here and then uh, uh, they were so we have already done like proto uh, program with oems in india and they have been uh, uh, so far pretty very successful programs and uh, like uh, that's how the trust and the confidence has been built in and that's how we are able to win the programs uh, in india and in uk our product is right now like it's it's almost towards the end of its validation stage so so we are very very like in a very good shape and uh, at the right time we i'll say we are ready with the very with a very good and market fit product yeah okay i would uh, just one more question for supply chain would have covered everything in all the systematic flow or the ecosystem supply of components are also crucial to the build which do you think is the two supply crucial components which you are looking at as you know like electronics components have been a pain for the entire industry since past like 3 years at least i'll say now it looks like the government is also infuse certain support and many were talking about it is going to go down apart from electronics which are the two issues for you so for example magnets are always imported in india or like right now that's that's a uh, uh, situation you use a permanent or uh, rare earth magnets inside permanent magnets are there inside the motor yeah so so th there will be a import content in that but other than that all the parts will be sourced source means the material set will be sourced through india except magnets and the electronic particular chips uh, the electronic components everything will be from india for india yeah and with motors and motor technology yeah. is the crucial topic how are you how, how how challenging is it to hold the people the the thinking behind this design and production how are you holding your people and uh, what kind of motivation is given to them so you see like a lot of talks have been happening around uh, electrification and green energy you see like everyone is now aware so even if you go to small towns in india people are riding e, e bikes or e rickshaws are very popular now so i think that motivation has already been set in into like everyone to move towards a greener future and that's how like all the employees all the stakeholders uh, that that's a vision which we are setting in so if you see saita's vision that's to clear the air of all the the cities so that that's our like a uh, bigger vision we want to have a cleaner air a better efficient a uh, uh, mobility mobility solution provider is what what we want to be at least i know padmini vna from the egr valve na the legacy product i have been in the diesel industry so egr valve with padmini is what i know but if you look at the overall ev architecture what what kind of training programs is uh, saita vna doing for its employees uh, motor is one okay you are doing radial flux and axial flux yes. but there is battery battery management system your employees are quite uh, eager to know how the overall vehicle system is but uh, how is your training program scheduled for them are you doing it in house or is there a third party trainer 
so for example right now like we 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 have like in in our uk team is the the, the entire r and d center in india we are uh, uh, the engineering teams and uh, like quality and production teams are here so the plan is like we'll we'll send people over there uh, get some training in the in the uk and then they will come back and we'll will will uh, impart those, those knowledge to the people who are joining uh, like in the next years okay that's for the white collar engineers and for the associates how do you plan training uh, <laughs> so so yeah okay um, yeah, 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 right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so right now you know uh, the training is uh, key key things for uh, any new technology so we are making a videos of the training which we are uh, we are getting from the uh, uk plant so the those training we are displaying and we are giving to our new uh, blue color uh, employees you can say so that because we have enough time right now and now we can uh, teach our our employees as well so that is a key factor we are just getting a training from a uk and just we are converting into a visual, visual digital platform that's why they can teach we are teaching them so they can educate enough with, with our products that is the philosophy behind that okay so now the now the now the you can say ri of uh, digital so we are using the digital platform right thank you thank you very much uh, champions uh, thank you very much for this time thank i am talking to the key people at uh, saita vna they make uh, radial flux and axial flux Uh, motors it's a modular approach which can be used uh, for the same three wheelers depending on the load rating and of course they have their same product portfolios given for two wheeler application itself they are looking for setting the diwali of 2023 with their launch and i would wish them pretty well in advance thank you very much team thank you thank you thanks a lot thank you thank you for that